Hello, my name is Dana, and I am doing a book review of Radical Together by David Plight. And I am, um, this is my like third time recording this, anyway. So I wanted to do it as a video book review to hopefully get everything in. Um, and so I have a short amount of time, so I want to get going. First of all, I did receive the a, an advanced reader copy of Radical Together from Water Multinomous Book Publishing Group. And all of the views and everything that I express here are my own. They just ask that um, people that read and reviewed Radical, whether we would like to read Radical Together, um, uh, both by David Plyde and I jumped at the opportunity. I submitted an essay and I was one of the reviewers that was selected. And so um, I strongly suggest, as I do with all reviews, that if there's anything that touches you, that moves you, that you don't like, you know, that you should use that to consider whether to p purchase the book and read it for yourself. Because I believe, just like with any book, it's all subjective to your own experiences, your life, and so again, this is all my own personal opinion. Now to the review. I was asked to read the advanced reader copy, I'm trying to make sure we don't get too much of a glare, of a radical. There, all oh, that's better. I'm sorry, I had to kind of work with that. And um, it's Unleashing the, the People of God for the Purpose of God. I enjoyed the book. I believe that there was some differences between Radical Together and Radical, and I actually have it here too. There we go. And I don't even know where to begin because I'm looking at the clock ticking. So, one of the, the I'm going to title this, Do You Believe This Gospel? And there was a quote in here um, from David that I believe really stands out in it, and it, it is a good way to consider a good thing to consider as you read this book because it's about do you believe this gospel do you believe the gospel that's being shared with you and what David is saying and how he summarizes the gospel and people's stories and how it's impacting other people's lives and in Radical Together I believe it's a slight departure from Radical because I believe in Radical as I read it I felt so convicted as, as if he just opened up my chest and exposed my heart and said you know it's Christ in there and if he is, what are you doing about it? And so it was very almost emotional and it was a challenge and it was like a gavel was being um, placed down in front of me of what was I going to do with what I believe and if I was carrying it out in my life. And I believe in Radical Together. He's picking up where he left off, but it's almost in a calmer way. It's in a way of how can you in your everyday life live what God is calling us to do and, and, and living according to what the Great Commission says of reaching people and sharing the message with them and sharing God's love with them. And that is what he does in Radical Together. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't know. If he addresses some of the things that I feel like some people come up against when we are approached with sharing God's word. It may be that, no, it, you, know, you know, you believe it because you believe it, right? I mean, what you've heard and you've accepted, now you believe. But then you take it the next step in sharing it with others. And one of the, the issues that I know I may have, and I've heard it before, is, well, what do you share? Well, I don't know enough of the Bible, and I don't know what to share. And he threw out a very interesting question, and it was, do you not believe that God's word is enough? And his stance is that God's word is what takes people from not believing to believing. It's just our job to share it. And um, in one way, it was kind of relieving, because if you were trying to think, what is the right words to say, and what do I say, and what do I do? And, and you do need to have, I guess, some sort of plan for that. But he talks about that and, and resting on the fact that God's word is enough. And um, I feel like, uh, yeah, and it is enough. It's just I think sometimes we put some own stipulations on ourselves and how wonderful and great we have to be in that moment. Another thing that I enjoyed that he um, shared in the book was kind of like a, the steps 
of what you can do when it, when you go from saying, okay, I know I'm supposed to share God's word with other people and with other, what he calls people group. How do I do that? And he has some steps, which is to teach uh, people to pray, so to do it through prayer, to also to train them in God's word. The next one is to have the resources um, available to, in order to do it and to, and to leverage it. And of all of those steps, I think all of them are great, but the one that I found um, enjoyable to read about was leveraging. And how he prefaced that was how people in your everyday life can share with others. So it's not that everybody has to go out and, and start a ministry and everybody has a ministry, but it's that you are it. And so how can you do it in your everyday life? And he gave some examples of people that are in business and how they use, even though they work in their business, use it as an opportunity. Um, as an opportunity to share God's word with others, and so um, I enjoyed reading about that, and and I and I and I and I'm interested because this book um, I have a review copy, so it's only 140 pages of the actual text of the book, um, but they do mention that there is going to be a reader's guide inside, which I hope is true because that's one of the things that I would have liked to have had in Radical um, instead of purchasing a review or a study separate but um, they use those steps and hopefully in the the study guide or the conversation guide they will be able to dive in that some more so that people can take away some practical things um, with sharing the gospel with others and being radical together with others and one of the quotes that I wanted to share which is in my book off of page 109 is he has called commissioned and commanded each of us as Christians to give ourselves to spread of his gospel in every part of the earth. And I believe that's essentially what this is about. And I believe that's probably why the tone is a bit calmer. Because after he's grabbed you in radical and he's shaking you up a bit and he's opened your mind and your eyes and your heart to something different. And in this book he's saying, okay, get outside of yourself. Get outside of your church walls. You know, we don't want to just keep mingling and around the same people. And how can we push ourselves to not be about um, events and um, programs and special groups and special this and this and that to really getting to the core of what we're supposed to do, which is spread God's word. How do we do it? When do we do it? We know the when is now. So how do we go about doing that? And I believe that's what Radical Together stresses. And I pray that the um, the, the study guide that is um, mentioned or discussion guide will have more about it. So uh, my thoughts in wrapping up um, about Radical T T Together by David Platt. Here's it again. I loved it. Um, I think I liked it more than Radical because Radical, I think I liked it less because it was so convicting, which is a good thing. But I believe this is about taking those practical steps to doing it and not waiting. Do it now. And um, I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm going to actually purchase a copy so I can get the discussion guide. So um, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any comments on this, you can visit me at um, the it's the truevineonline com where I will post this video. Um, and I welcome any comments or questions that people have about it. I'm excited about this. I like the tone. I like the delivery. I like that it's only 140 pages. And if I could flip through it and you could actually see, like I have markings and things everywhere because it just goes to the heart of what we're supposed to do and, and not getting wrapped up in everyday life that we forget what we're really here for. So here's the book cover again. Again, my name is Dana. I look forward to bringing you another book review by video. Thanks. Have a great day. God bless.